Hello Leo, welcome to a bonus love reading. We're gonna be looking at what your person is thinking or feeling about you. What are their intentions towards you and what are their possible next actions towards you? Um, keep in mind that these readings are meant to be general so they will not resonate with every Leo watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you and leave the rest. You can also check out your other placements. Sometimes those can resonate more than your sun sign. All right, so let's jump right in for Leo, Spirit Angels, guides, Messages, guidance, please, for Leo. What do we need to know for Leo? What do we need to know for Leo? What do we need to know for Leo? What do we need to know? What do you need to know? What are their person's thoughts? Four of Wands, Four of Pentacles, and the Chariot, Cancer Energy. Man, I keep getting this. I keep getting this energy of there's always a block or a barrier, no matter who's reading I'm doing. <laughs> King of Cups at the bottom of the deck, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy there. I think when they think about you, they think about some sort of move they would like to make or future success with you. Um, but with the Four of Pentacles, it's like they're holding on to this idea of being with you or they're holding back. We'll clarify and see. Let's get some more energies out here. What are the energies that this person is bringing to this connection with Leo. What are this person's energies towards Leo? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person's energies towards Leo? Breathe in. Meditation, healing, rest. Take time to meditate and relax your mind and body. This is someone that's possibly healing or they're thinking about what they're going to do next. What are this person's energies? Love letter. A special message is on its way. Difficult decision. Why do I keep getting this? And looking inward, exactly. I feel like this is someone quietly thinking, quietly planning, quietly dreaming. Breathing could also be a card. It's, it was inspired by the Four of Swords. So it could also be interpreted as, for example, someone that is um quiet withdrawn doing their own healing their own reflecting outside of all the noise let's see what else we get what else do we need to know about this person's thoughts feelings energies towards leo what do we need to know What do we need to know? What are they thinking, feeling towards Leo? I want to fix this. Okay, so maybe they're wanting to heal this connection. What else? What are they thinking or feeling? I'm really struggling. Okay, so I think that they, um, you matter to me, is at the bottom of the deck here. I think that they're um, thinking about how to fix this with you. How to have a four of wands with you, um, struggling without you. Maybe they are away from you in some way. Um, maybe there's distance, physical distance, emotional distance. Okay, so let's see what else we get for you, Leo. Some clarity here for the Leo. Tell me about the four of wands. Why is the Four of Wands here? King of Cups shows up again. Yeah. You matter to me. That's what I'm hearing from this card. Okay, tell me about the Four of Wands. Eight of Wands. Yeah, I again, there's like a feeling of like wanting to make some sort of move. Five of Cups. But I feel like this person is, is, is hiding their pain or with the high priestess here keeping their pain like hidden holding back their true feelings 
I think they have a lot of regrets with the Five of Cups. Maybe they're missing you. Tell me about the Four, uh, four of Pentacles. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Page of Swords. Yeah, they're holding back what they want to say or the truth of something here. The Magician. But it's not like they don't want to do anything about it. It's almost like, yeah, Two of Cups, Nine of Cups. Yeah, they know what they want. They want to be with you, Two of Cups. They want to make this happen. They're holding on to this idea, I think, of you and them being together. Page of Swords, this person can see you in some in some way. Maybe they see you, um, yeah, the, look at the Ten of Cups. Maybe they see you online, at work, through other people's photos, like tagged photos or something. So I think they're holding on to this idea of you, of wanting to make this happen. Eight of Wands, I feel like they want to communicate with you. Eight of Wands, Page of Swords. But for whatever reason, I feel like there's a wall between you and this person. And it could even be physical distance. Like they can't just go ahead and like quickly see you. Tell me about the chariot. Why is the chariot here? Wow, judgment. Okay. Tell me about the chariot. Tell me about the chariot. Why is the chariot here? Queen of Wands. Tell me about the chariot. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy with the Queen of Wands. Tell me about the chariot. Ah, uh, see? There's a page of pentacles. I think that they want to bring you some sort of an offer or start things over with judgment. Revive things. Um, but I think that some of you uh, Leos are not going to be interested in this offer. Or they're expecting you not to be interested in this offer. I feel like they see you like this. You know, Leo is not um, not going to be interested in what I have to say. I feel like you matter to me is also here because they need to reassure you that, that that's true. So what are they going to do? Let's see. What are their intentions? Their genuine intentions. Spirit, what are they intending to do? When it comes to you. What is this person's genuine intentions? Next possible actions towards Leo. What is this person's genuine intentions? Next possible actions towards Leo. What are this person's intentions? Next possible actions. Three of Pentacles. Definitely, I want to fix this. The Empress. Ace of Wands. Okay, so yeah. They're in, and there's the King of Pentacles. So they're very serious about this. Now, that's not to say that this person is like... Uh, obviously, I don't know this person. You know more about them than I do. <laughs> but um, what I see here is a genuine intent to really create something, to work together, to have a new beginning. And with the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, yeah, and the Eight of Pentacles, I'm getting someone that is dedicated to this. They're very serious about this. Um, they're, they're being very practical about this. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. The King of Pentacles is someone who, they take their time getting things done, but you can count on them on getting those things done. I think that this person is trying to be a King of Pentacles, trying to be mature, trying to really um, show you that they mean what they say, that they are willing to work things out with you, that they are willing to build something with you, something that can grow um, into something very special here with the Empress and the Ace of Wands. Some of you, I feel like this person is going to tell you that they want children. I don't know why. That's not for everyone, but I think that this person, it's almost like they, they're like, I want you to be the parent of my children, that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I feel like that's what's going to happen here. I feel like this person is going to reach out in some way. I, I don't see that in 
their next intentions or next possible actions here, but I did see them thinking about it with the Page of Swords and the Eight of Wands. Like this is someone that's really thinking about what they're gonna tell you. And there's also a very important card here, which is judgment. So either they're having some sort of personal awakening about a, you know, the past and their own actions and learning from that, or they want to fix things, you know, revive things, have a second chance with you. Um, this is what they're thinking. So I feel like since they're thinking this, it makes sense that they would want to talk about this. Please forgive my dog in the background. He's being very extra right now. Um, so that's what I have for you, Leo. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. Um, don't forget to enter to win a personal reading with me. All of the details for that will be in the, hold on. Okay. I want to clarify this Ace of Wands. Hold on. I, ignore what I just said real quick. <laughs> What's this Ace of Wands about? What, what, why the Ace of Wands? Why is this so important? Why is this so important, the Ace of Wands? Okay. Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so yes. Um, Leo. This person is bringing you a serious offer. Basically what I said, but it's just confirmation. Um, Ace of Wands, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. For some reason, I feel like they're reassuring you that they're, it's like they're giving you what you desired or wanted or what you wanted all along. And they're telling you, yes, I want that too, or I'm serious about us. Of course, it's going to be up to you if you decide that you want to be with this person or not. But I'm just telling you, this is the intention. This is what they're thinking when they think about you. This is their plan. And so, you know, I don't know what kind of history you have with this person, but the intention is genuine. It's, it's of course, it's going to be up to you if this is something you're interested in. Are you interested in that? Let me know in the comments. Okay. Thank you so much for watching, Leo. Like this video. And if you enjoyed the reading, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.